to welcome you to the prayer line tonight. I want to congratulate you for coming to the prayer line. And I'm praying for somebody that you will not enter this prayer line in vain in the name of Jesus. I am praying for everyone around the world, anywhere, anywhere you are located, anywhere you are situated, anywhere you are speaking or listening from today, tonight. I am praying for you that God Almighty will remember you and everything that you lay your hands on shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, the prayer line topic tonight will be liberation of the hands. Liberation of the hands, and I'm going to quickly define the meaning of liberation for you. Liberation is the harsh act of setting free someone from imprisonment, from slavery, from oppression, or release. It is the heart of deliverance, rescue, relief. So I have brought a message tonight titled Liberation of the Hands, and I'll be going swiftly towards defeat as we go on in this prayer. So I want to quickly minister to you what do I mean by liberation of the hands? If you are just coming in, the topic is liberation of the hand. I want to quickly take us into this prayer line so that we can understand how valuable, how important it is that our hand is. My first text is taken from the book of Psalms, Psalm 144 verse 1. Psalm 144 verse 1, I always encourage you to have a pen and paper ready because this prayer line is one hour. So by the time we sing praise and worship for 10 minutes, we go straight to the word of 10, 15 minutes and then we pray. So always have a piece of paper ready so that you can go back later on and look at the words, the words of God are flesh. The Bible says that God came as his son and his son is the word and the word turned into flesh. He said heaven and earth can pass away but the word of God will not pass away. So we need the word for healing. We need the word for hope. Door. We need the word for approval and confirmation. We need the word to transform our life and I'm praying for you today that as you listen to this word of God something new will happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Psalm 144 verse 1 says, Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hand to war and my fingers to fight. Now, if you look at this text, it means that your hands are weapon and they can fight the war for your life. War can be raised against your hands. You might not understand but the enemy knows that your hands are instrument of war. That is why sometimes you always pray this prayer and say, Lord, everything I lay my hands on, let it prosper. Because your hands is the indication of what you want. It is the indication of the move you are making. The hand has done many things to many people's life in the Bible. And as we go on, we are going to begin to pray some prayers regarding the hand. And I want you to also know, the Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 20, Deuteronomy 28 verse 20, the Bible says, The Lord shall send upon thee, cursing, vexation, and rebuke, in all that thou set thy hand on to do, so that is what the Lord is promising your enemy. The Lord says it will cause them until thou be destroyed. There are some people they use evil hand for do, to do evil purpose. But God is saying here, he said the Lord shall hand, they shall send upon the cursing, rebuke in all that they set their hands on. Anyone that want to put you and your family in bondage, this is the verse that God is saying to them. And the Lord will destroy your enemies in the name of Jesus. Anyone that want to destroy you shall be destroyed destroyed. Anyone that wants to torment you shall be tormented. Anyone that wants to attack you shall be attacked. I am praying for somebody listening to me tonight that anywhere you go, whatever you lay your hands on shall begin to prosper. Now, I am also going to explain to you that your hand is also a subject to fulfillment. Your hand is also a subject to fulfillment. And I'm praying for you one more time that Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, he will touch you and whatever thing that you write, you carry, you indicate, it will come to pass with fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Jehovah Nisi will bless the work of your hands. He will turn every sorrow into joy in the name of Jesus. I am praying for somebody tonight that anywhere you go, when they see you, and when they see you, your hands shall indicate prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. When you feel a form, when you feel an application, it shall come to pass with glory and testimony in the name of Jesus. I am praying for somebody tonight that anywhere you go, something new will happen to you in the name of Jesus. What does the hand do? 
You are, you, as you are listening to this prayer line, I believe many of us, if not all of us, are carrying a phone on or with our hand. You are actually, it's either you have put, it, put the phone on speaker or you are carrying the phone with your hand. So the hand is something that we used to do. We use the hand to eat. We use the hand to carry things. But I am praying for you tonight that whatever you carry, it shall turn to gold in the name of Jesus. Ah, whatever you carry, it shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Jehovah Nissi will surprise you. In this month of June, you shall jubilate in the name of Jesus. Oh, you cannot hear me. I say in this month of June, you shall jubilate in the name of Jesus. A pastor gave a testimony one day or an incident one day. He said the couple employed a house girl and when they, they, they just had the baby girl and when the house girl was playing with the child, the child just threw the, the baby up and there was a ceiling fan and the fan, the fan just caught the, girl's, the baby girl's head. So the girl was now crying the heart. People were now cursing the girl that this girl has got evil hand. So you can see, sometimes the hand does something good and the hands does something bad. But I am praying for you today that your own hand shall do something good in the name of Jesus. Oh, you cannot hear me. I say your hand shall do something good in the name of Jesus. Somebody came to Manchester some time ago, and after she was, after she, I prayed for the family and they were going, I gave them an instruction. I said, listen, don't break that anointing oil because I hear Satan said to me loud and clear that they will not arrive into London with that oil. And I'm telling you, they said to me, ah, the woman actually carried the oil like a baby. And while she was carrying the oil like a baby, the oil just fell down at the entrance of the door, right in front of my house here. You see what Satan does. So you see, I am praying for you that you will not have reason for promise and fail in the name of Jesus. I say you will not have reasons of promise and fail in the name of Jesus. I am praying for somebody tonight that God Almighty will transform your hand into joy, into joy in the name of Jesus. Now, Take me, let us pray the first prayer. The first prayer is this, Lord, make my hand to be instrument of power. <laughs> make my own hand to be instrument of power. Open your mouth and pray that prayer quickly. Make my hand, oh Lord, to be an instrument of power. Instrument of power, oh Lord Jehovah. Make my hand to be an instrument of power. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Hmm. Make my hand to be an instrument of power, Jehovah Nisi. Make my hand to be an instrument of power. I ask somebody, pray, pray, pray. Make my hand, O oh Lord, to be an instrument of power. Make my own hand to be an instrument of power. Everything I lay my hands on shall prosper. Make my hand to be an instrument of power in the name of Jesus. Make my hand to be an instrument of power in the name of Jesus. Let my hand be a carrier of honor. Somebody pray. Let my own hand be a carrier of honor. Let my hand be a carrier of honor in the name of Jesus. My hand shall be carrier of honor. My hand shall be carrier of healing. My hand shall be carrier of prosperity. My hand shall be carrier of abundance in the name of Jesus. Ah, somebody pray concerning your own hand. My own hand shall be carrier of honor. My own hand shall be carrier of destiny. My own hand shall be carrier of healing. My own hand shall be carrier of joy. Open your hand and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha. I am praying, oh Lord, today that my hand shall be carrier of honor. My hand shall be carrier of healing in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Oh, yes, Jehovah Nisi, I pray, O Lord, tonight that my hand shall be carrier of joy. My hand shall be carrier of prosperity. Hmm, pray, pray, pray. My hand shall be carrier of joy in the name of Jesus. My hand shall be carrier of joy in the name of Jesus. My hand shall be the key of increase. My own hand shall be the key of increase. My hand shall be the key of my increase. My hand shall be, ah, somebody pray. Your hands are important. Your hands are important. There are many things that the hands does when a man of God lays out upon you. Many people receive healing. Many people receive testimony. So therefore, you all also, when you lay hands upon something, it shall turn to joy. It shall turn to increase. When you put your hand on something, when you write an application, there shall be increase. There shall be enlargement. There shall be joy. There shall be testimony. Open your mouth and decree, declare. I, Godwin, I decree, declare today that my hand shall be the key of my increase. My hand shall be the key of my prosperity. In the name of Jesus, my hand shall be the key of my prosperity. If you are just coming in, we are praying concerning liberation. 
operation of the hands. So I am talking about your hands. Your hands will be the key to your increase. Your hands shall be the key to your prosperity. Your hands shall be the key to power. Open your mouth and begin to pray as you have entered this prayer line. Oh Jehovah Nisi, my hands shall be a carrier of honor in the name of Jesus. My hands shall be the carrier of honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree by the power that is in the word of God that my hands shall be the carrier of honor. My hands shall be the carrier of victory in the name of Jesus. I decree, declare in the name that is above every other name. Everything and anything I lay my hands on, it shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I say it shall prosper. 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 In Jesus name we have prayed. I decree, declare today that your hand shall be a carrier of honor in the name of Jesus. Your hand shall be the key to your, your increase in the name of Jesus. I say your hand shall be the key to your prosperity in the name of Jesus. Your hand shall be a symbol of victory for you in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. There was a time Moses stayed on the mountain with Aaron, Aaron and her. And the Bible says that when they were losing the fight, they held on to the hand of Moses. And when they brought Moses' hand down, they were losing losing the battle. I say your hand will not go down in the name of Jesus. I say your own hand will not go down in the name of Jesus. I say your own hand will not go down in the name of Jesus. I pray for you tonight that every power that wants to pull your hand down they shall be destroyed today in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disable your hands, God Almighty will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Whatever thou lay your hands on, whatever application you feel, wherever you go, whoever you, 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 you indicate your hands it shall turn to abundance of joy in the name of Jesus. Your hand will build a palace for you. Oh, I pray for somebody. Your hand will build a palace for you in the name of Jesus. I say your hand will build a palace here on earth for you in the name of Jesus. Your hand shall be an instrument of deliverance in the name of Jesus. Whoever you lay your hands on shall receive that healing. Whoever you indicate prayer for shall receive that deliverance. I pray whatever offering. Anytime you stretch your hand to give offering in your place of worship. Your offering shall end your suffering in the name of Jesus. I am praying for somebody tonight that anywhere you have, your hand shall bring you joy. Your hand shall bring you joy. Anywhere they have cursed your hand, I reject that curse in the name of Jesus. I remove that curse in the name of Jesus. I decree, declare, declare today, your hand shall be the key to defeating your enemies in the name of Jesus. Oh, your hand shall be an instrument to your healing. Anywhere you have, whatever it is, whatever it is in your body that you are feeling pain please put your hand in that area right now and decree declare I decree I exercise my faith today as the man of God is saying that my hand is an instrument of my healing I decree healing upon my body put your hand there you don't have to be an evangelist you don't have to be a pastor you don't have to be a prophet the Bible says it will give you the key to the kingdom of heaven whatever thing that you shall decree on earth shall be decreed in heaven open your mouth and pray I put my hand in this area of concern I use my body as a point of contact to my family members that are feeling ill at this moment and I command healing. My, my hand is an instrument of healing. My hand is an instrument of deliverance. I decree, declare today ah, I shall receive my healing. My siblings shall receive their healing. My family shall receive their healing. In the name of Jesus, as I pray tonight, oh Lord, I ask, oh Lord, that everything that is causing me pain shall cause me joy. I say everything that causes me pain shall cause me joy. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I pray tonight, oh Lord my God, that every cobwebs in my life in my house is gone in the name of Jesus. Every disaster that has been happening in my home, in my body is gone in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with my body, with my soul, with my spirit. So shall it be. In Jesus name we have prayed. Many of us have different trade of our profession. Some of us have laid hand upon so many things, it has not worked. Some of us have done, applied for so many jobs, we have not been called. Many of us have filled many applications, we have not received good news. And many of us, the enemy have said our hands have been bewitched. 
But I am praying for us today, all of us on the phone, that God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. I am praying for everyone listening to me that any time again that you fill up an application or even the one that you have filled that is around the world, it shall be accepted in the name of Jesus. I am praying for you that whatever thing that you lay your hands on, it shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I am praying for you that they will not tie your hands. 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 Oh, somebody, let us pray that prayer. Say tonight, oh Lord, I decree, declare that my hands will not be tied down. They will not tie my hands. 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 Oh, help your mother pray. Help your mother pray. They will not tie my hands. They will not tie my hands. They will not tie my hands. The Bible say ah. They will not tie my hands. I say the Bible says that my hands are free. They will not tie my. Help your mother pray. Mm, 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 mm. They will not tie my hands in the name of Jesus. They will not tie my hands in the name of Jesus. They will not tie my hands in the name of Jesus. They will not tie my hands in the name of Jesus. I said they will not tie my own hands in the name of Jesus. They will not tie my hands in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody pray. There is a purpose for that prayer. There is a reason for that prayer. There is a reason why we have to pray that prayer. My hands will not be tied down. Anywhere I go, my hands will not be tied down. The enemy will not tie my hand down. If you are just coming him, may you not be late for your blessing. Open your mouth and pray. My hand will not be tied down. My own hand will not be tied down. The enemy will not tie my hand down. They will not tie down my destiny. They will not tie down my glory. In the name of Jesus. They will not tie down my glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I am praying for somebody praying tonight and somebody listening to me tonight that they will not tie you down. They will not tie your hands down. The Lord will bless the work of your hands. You shall occupy your seat of honor. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Why am I saying they will not tie your hands down? Let me show you something in the Bible. Take me quickly to Genesis 38. And I'm going to look at verse number 27. Genesis chapter number 38, verse number 27. Please write it down. Genesis 38, verse 27. The Bible says there, And it came to pass at the time of giving birth, that behold, twins were in her womb. And so it was when she was giving birth that one put out his hand and the midwife took a scarlet thread and bound it on his hand, saying, this one came out first. Then the Bible says, then it happened as he drew back his hand. You see, they have tied the child's hand with a scarlet. And Bible says, then it happened that he drew back his hand, meaning it, it, the hand that they have tied, he took it back to the womb. So some people's hands has been tied right from childbirth. Some people's hand has been, this is a spirit, this is a physical issue that happened. No? How much more the spiritual part of it that you don't see with your naked eyes? The Bible says that the nurses, the midwife tied this hand, this boy, the boy's hand, he says his hand was burned. But then he said this one came out first and the child that came out first went back in with the hands that were tied. I am praying for you. Anywhere they have tied your hands, your hands shall be loose today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, then it happened as he drew back. He went back that his brother came out unexpectedly. And then she said, how did you break through? So they were even asking the new one that came out, how come that you, we've already tied your own destiny, right? So how come you are coming out now? Because your brother thought he can defend you and your own brother came out and but we tied his hand also and he went back in. So you that we have already tied your destiny, who gave you the audacity? Who gave you the freedom to come out? I want you to pray. Say tonight I am free. Say tonight I am free. Tonight I am free. So put your mouth and pray. Tonight I am free. I say tonight I am free. Tonight I am free. Tonight I am free. Tonight I am free. I say tonight I am free. Oh, put your mouth and pray, pray, pray. Oh, pray, pray, pray. I am free tonight. I am free tonight. I 
I am free tonight in the name of Jesus. I am free. Anywhere they have tied my hands, I am free. Anywhere they have tied my hands, they are free. Anywhere I, they have tied my hands, I am free. Anywhere they have tied my hands, I am free. Anywhere they have tied my hands, I, have, I am free. Anywhere they have tied my hands, I am free. Anywhere they have tied my own hands, I am free. Anywhere they have tied my hands, I am free. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual bondage is over. Every physical bondage is over. Anywhere they have tied my children's hands, they are free. Anywhere they have tied my spouse's hands, they are free. In the name of Jesus, as from today, I receive receive total freedom. As from today, I receive total freedom in the name of Jesus. I decree, declare today, I become untouchable. I become uncatchable. Anywhere I go, I shall find favor in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now, let us try and just look around the feet as well. We have spoken about the hand. Let us just look also at the feet. You know, we are going to pray one prayer before we go into this illustration. Every satanic feet that has entered into your life, tonight they are coming out. Hope you matter pray. There are some people they carry satanic feet. Once they bring that feet into your life, it is a problem. You are going to pray and say, every satanic feet that has come into my life, that has come into my circular life, that has come into my situation, that has come into my life, tonight they are going out. Every satanic feet that has entered into my affairs, that has entered into my life, tonight, ah, somebody pray that prayer, it's a prayer point, you have to pray. We are praying deliverance. We are praying freedom. We are praying for God to set us free. We are praying for deliverance. We are praying for healing. So therefore, every evil feet that has entered into your life, they are coming out in the name of Jesus. Every evil feet that has come into the affairs of your life, they are coming out in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Some people carry evil feet. They carry, once they come into your house, into your life, it's a problem. Tonight they are coming out in the name of Jesus. I say they are coming out in the name of Jesus. They are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. They are coming out in the name of Jesus. They are coming out in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Every satanic feet carrier. That has entered into your affairs. They are coming out in the name of Jesus. Let me give you an example. A very good example. Of somebody that is carrying a good feet. Because you shall carry good feet in the name of Jesus. Anyone that comes into your affairs will carry good feet in the name of Jesus. So shall they be. In Jesus name we have prayed. Let me show you something wonderful. Good example is Joseph. Immediately he entered the house of Potiphar. Everything that Potiphar did prosper. Everything Joseph laid his hand on prosper. The house begin to flourish. The house begin to multiply. I am praying for you that a Joseph has entered your house in the name of Jesus. I say a Joseph has entered your house in the name of Jesus. I am praying for you that God has sent a Joseph to your house tonight in the name of Jesus. God has sent a Joseph to your business in the name of Jesus. God has sent a Joseph to your education in the name of Jesus. God has sent a Joseph to your marital request in the name of Jesus. I am praying for somebody that God has sent a Joseph to come and attend to your application in the name of Jesus. Potiphar prospered because Joseph had, um, uh, he has a good leg. If you bring in the wrong person into your house, that person might be cursed or bewitched. That person might have a trouble fit, an unstable fit, but I am praying tonight that God Almighty will remove every satanic agent that has entered your, your life and your house in the name of Jesus. I am decreeing, declare today that everything that looks like satanic feet, it is out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty will sanctify your home. God Almighty will sanctify your affairs in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty will take you to where your destinies are. Oh yeah, somebody pray. Say, oh you my feet, take me to where my joy is. Take me to where my blessings are. Take me to where my joy is. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, you my two leg. Take me, take me to where my joy is. Take me to where my blessings are. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Oh, you my feet. Take me, oh, you my leg on my feet. Take me to where my joy is. 
Take me to where my victory ha. Take me to where my blessings ha. Take me, take me, take me there. Open your mouth and pray ha. Oh, you my leg. Oh, you my two leg. I decree, declare, as from today, you will take me to the right place at the right time. Oh, you my two leg. You will not take me to the wrong place at the wrong time. I speak into two of you. I decree, declare, as from today, I will go to where God wants me to go. I will go where I am supposed to go. I will not face the wrong direction. To my two leg will not take me to the wrong direction. Ah, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Many people have met the wrong people in life. They have met the wrong friends. Their leg has taken them to the wrong gathering. Many people have gone to the wrong wrong church, wrong place of worship. You are going to pray. Oh, you my leg. Take me to where God wants me to be. Take me to the right place. I will not go to the wrong place. Open your mouth and pray. Mm. Hmm. My leg, my feet, is your feet is the instrument of dominion. Oh, you, my feet, give me dominion today. The Bible says that you shall tread on serpents and scorpions and every power of the enemy, and nothing in enemy shall hurt you. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, you, my feet, take me to where my victory is. Take me to where my joy is. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, pray, pray, pray. My feet will not be bewitched in the name of Jesus. My children's feet will not be bewitched in the name of Jesus. No family members of mine shall have a bewitched feet in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Hmm. Pray, 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 pray. Anywhere you go, your feet will bring you joy. Ah, you need to pray that prayer. It is very, very important. Some people, they entered a gathering and there is calamity. Some people, they entered into a, 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 a coach, a bus, and there is problem. You will not enter the wrong coach in the name of Jesus. Pray, your key, your feet is the key to your possession. Oh, my feet, take me to where my possessions are. Take me to where my joy are. Open mouth and pray. Take me to where my benefits are. Oh, you, my feet. Oh, you, my two legs. Take me to where my joy. Ah, somebody pray. You have come here to pray. It's a prayer line. You have to pray for a good feet. You have to pray for a feet that will take you to where your blessings are. You have to pray for your feet to take you to where people that want to help you are. Open your mouth and pray. Hmm. Oh, I will walk into where my belongings are. I will walk into where my success are. I will walk into where my promotions are. In the name of Jesus, my feet will take me where I will possess my possessions. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, my feet will take me to the entrance of my breakthrough. And I will occupy my seat of honor. Open your mouth and pray. My feet is the instrument of direction. My feet will take me in the right direction. Open your mouth and pray. I don't know if somebody is listening to me. If you can pray with me, if you can understand what I'm saying here, I am decreeing, declare that your feet shall establish your breakthrough for you. Your feet shall take you out of trouble in the name of Jesus. Your feet are instrument of direction. You will not go to the wrong direction. You will not face the wrong direction. You will not face the wrong direction. Somebody pray. Oh, you are not praying that prayer. Oh, my feet will not take me to the wrong direction. I say my own feet will not take me to the wrong direction. My own feet will not take me to the wrong direction. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Your feet must not and will not take you to the wrong direction. Pray. Mm. Mm, my feet will not take me to the wrong direction. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Oh, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. My feet will not take me to the wrong direction. In the name of Jesus. My own feet will not take me to the wrong direction. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Hmm, my feet will not take me to the wrong direction in the name of Jesus. My feet will not take me to the wrong direction. Open your mouth and pray. Hmm. My feet will not take me to the wrong direction in the name of Jesus. My feet will not take me to the wrong direction. Oh, many people's feet are taking them to the wrong direction, but your own feet will not take you to the wrong direction. Open your mouth and pray. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, my feet will not take me to the wrong direction in the name of Jesus. My feet will not take me to the wrong direction in the name of Jesus. Oh, my own feet will not take me into the wrong direction in the name of Jesus. I decree, declare in the name of Jesus that your feet will not take you to the wrong direction. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Why am I saying that may our feet not take us to the wrong direction? Let me tell you something. Before Joseph began to have a feet that prosper, he, he had a feet that was stagnant before. Let me show you. Take me to Genesis 37. The Bible says in Genesis 37, verse number 15. 
Genesis 37, let us take it from verse number 14. Genesis 37, verse 14. If you have your Bible with you, please quickly look at Genesis. Genesis is the first book of the Bible. It is not the one in the middle, but the first book in the Bible. Now, Genesis 37, verse number 14 says, Then he said to him, Please go and see if it is well with your brothers and well with the flocks, and bring back word to me. So he sent him out of the valley of Hebron, so he went to Seshach. His father believed that his son was coming to him, but he never saw him again until so many years afterwards. The father thought, just go to this place and come and give me word that your brothers are doing okay. But Joseph never came back until a very, he never even saw his father until a very long time. Many of us are in a country where it is not our country of birth. We have left our families for so much time. We have left our relations and relatives for a long time. Because we have come into a place, maybe we just came on holiday. Maybe we just came to, for sightseeing. Maybe we just came to get a small job and something happened. Many of us got stuck. But it doesn't mean that you will get stuck forever. It doesn't mean that your story will not change. Joseph was just going, in fact, he, and he didn't even take anything. He just wore his slippers and just went to check his brothers. No luggage, nothing. And something happened. He never went back at that place at that time. May you never be stuck in your life in the name of Jesus. Now, if you look at verse number 15 of Genesis 37, Bible says, Now a certain man found him, and there he was wandering around the field. He was wandering, he was lost. Many of us have entered different countries, different cities. We have wandering around. We are wandering around. Many of us have applications somewhere. It is just wandering in that cabinet, in that safe. Nobody is addressing to it. I say tonight they shall see your application in the name of Jesus. I say tonight somebody will locate your application in the name of Jesus. That reference number that they are looking for, they shall find it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that this man asked him a question. Genesis 37 verse number 15. Where, what are you looking for? What are you seeking? In verse 16, he said, I am seeking my brothers. Please tell me where they are feeding the flock. Because Joseph's feet took him to the wrong place. He was meant to go to daughter. Look at verse number 17. And the man said to him, they have departed from here. For I heard them say, let us, let us go to daughter. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them in daughter. So his feet took him to the wrong place. His feet took him to the rock and he was wandering. He was lost. May you not be lost in the name of Jesus. I am praying for you. Whatever concerns your life will not be lost in the name of Jesus. I say you will not be lost in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare one more time. Anywhere they have said that you will not come back home. Anywhere they have said that you will not see your mother alive. Anywhere they have said that you will not see your father alive. Anywhere they have put a curse that you will not see your siblings alive. I say you shall see them alive in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare anywhere you are at this moment, any country you are listening from at the moment, where they have tied your leg down, I say receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. I am praying for somebody tonight. Anywhere they have said that there will be stagnant in your life, I say there is no more stagnation concerning your life in the name of Jesus. Begin to prosper. Oh, begin to go and prosper. Begin to occupy your seat of honor in the name of Jesus. I am praying for somebody tonight. Now, Anywhere somebody somewhere has said that you will not come back alive. I say you are going back alive and your enemies shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. I decree, declare, they will not hold you down. They will not tie you down. Jehovah Nisi shall open abundance of joy for you. I 